Hey, look. It works. Isn't that fantastic? All right, man. So. You're really excited, aren't you? You just can't hold it anymore, can you? Anytime something from our childhood gets revamped, you're just, you're, you're like number one in the door. You're ready for it. So, what'd you get? What did you buy today? I bought some Panda Express. And you got Panda Express. Cool. Okay. That was Panda Express, but. And then what? a lot of disappointment from uh, some stores. A lot of disappointment. Yep. But, but then I got these cool little toys. They don't really do anything. <laughs> I like this. Or on our page. It says the internet can totally see you now. Awesome. Welcome, internet. How's it going, folks? All right. Actually, this is the first live stream we've done on YouTube. The rest of these have actually been all on Twitch and Facebook. Yep. We just play games and stuff. New, new, new format. Who dis? We've got... Well, Jake... Was patient and didn't open his because he was, I was setting this I up. I have mine. I right was semi patient, but he took too long to get this set up. So I made some you're, food, you're ate the patient, food, and then in, opened my toys. You're impatient in general, though. So we got so fine. got this little guy here. He's a little mantis thing, and he turns into a ball, which this one's a little Pegasus looking thing. If I can, you got these little magnet little card things, and they just whoop, pop right open. He's a little like Pegasus. I don't know. I thought the color scheme on him was cool. The Your mantis just looked kind of cool too. Your explanations are impeccable. I know. By the way, he's talking about Bobby Yarn. Bobby. And for some reason, this game has made a resurgence. Yes. So. Yes, it has. There's even an app and everything. So it's official. It's official. Everything that has an app is official. You know what doesn't have an app? Magic the Gathering. Yes, they do. They do not. Yes, they do. They've been advertising Portal no, for they, three they years. No, they have now. an app. It's the Life Total app. It doesn't count. <laughs> that does not count. Anyways. So, since you already opened yours, yours is just... You're going to sit there and... <laughs> you're going to sit there and play with yours. All while, right, they uh, come with these cards, too. Yeah, they come with cards. That's how you play yeah, the game. So this is this is the Pegasus character. Uh, this is the Mantis character. They're pretty beefy. And this is a card for the card game part of the thing. But we couldn't find those. No, um, none of these stores around us. They only had these. They only had these singles. So. At one of the four, five stores we went to. Uh, yeah, one. one. One of them. So now we just, uh, you know, we don't really have anything. We just have this one to open and uh well i have my two you have none so i'm going to open mine i got this dude because uh, he's a three-headed dog and that is metal there's nothing more metal than a, a giant three-headed dog so i get to open mine but you were the impatient child under the christmas tree so you can play with yours i mean have you ever been under the christmas tree it's a pretty great place to be Am I wrong? I don't know. Not wrong Anybody at all. else under the Christmas tree? Boop. Sick. Uh, I don't know if this is. I saw a. Uh, I saw the unboxing with this earlier. I think they're like in there too. Ooh. As I said that, it just falls out. No, they're 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 pretty solidly like packed in there. That's in its own little thing. So you do need three to play this game, and we each bought. You do. Even the coins, dude. Like, there is no, there is no jailbreaking these. Like, the coins have a little divider piece. It's trash. Here's your little tokens. This is still really nice. And then I think my favorite part about this is how well the uh, cards are packaged. Because usually on most things, you know, when they have cards, they're oh, just. Oh, he's talking about well packaged. Mine has a dent in it from the way it was packaged. Oh well, yours sucked. Mine look fine, but like you know, most things that are packaged like this, they just have the uh, the card is just taped on the back, or the card is taped on the bottom or on the inside, and you have to 
like, it off. At least the the one with the dent, like the other two are fine, but the one with the dent was the character card for the Pegasus. So, like, right. It's I mean, you would not a big these. deal. It's I mean, not in a deck. I guess you would sleeve these anyways, but that's pretty much. You have a little display that you peel out of yours. And just go ahead and take this thing all the way. Boom! There it is. I don't know. You just set it up right here. I guess. The blammo. Um, that's it for the main portion of the box. This cardboard. Get rid of that. Um, it's nice seeing like like card games that are games that have like cards incorporated with them package their stuff nicely. Toys this, to life. Toys to life. This is a sign that the company is actually... Because I remember in the original Bakugans, I don't think that they actually came uh, packaged up like this. I believe they were just in the box with it. Um, I can't remember. It was a really long time ago. It was, but I also think it was a little bit of a different system too. I but, also have... I'm pretty sure I didn't yard sale or throw away my old Bakugans. I don't know where they would be. Maybe Parents Garage. If I can get back over there. They said that they said they're different sizes, so we can't. You can't obviously use the old ones with a new system. Yeah, but it'd still be cool. But like, yeah, it'd still be cool just to have them. But yeah. this like this like really turns me on towards the game, not in a you know certain way. But I mean, cards are straight. Hey, hey look, cards are most cards are most definitely straight. They look really really good. So the back card is your character card. You get the black ones for the the characters, and then the red ones are your your cards that you put in a deck, which is and how you play the real game. If you buy a regular one like the Pegasus, uh, you only get the character card with it, Just right? Just the character card. If you buy the Ultras, Ultras, which, which is what this is and what my other one is, uh, I think the other one is cool. I think it's special. I haven't seen a lot of these even opened uh, by I guess it would be like the bigger people in the corporation of Bakugan on the scene of it but I just grabbed it because it was different I didn't really see it on a list and I thought it was cool so you've got the umbral slash card for my dude here and it is I mean the character cards. I mean the character cards look sweet. The artwork looks nice. It doesn't look very anime-ish. Like I know they have an anime for this, and they could have easily taken a pretty cheap route and just went with like anime pictures of, on these. But the fact that they have actual art on here is really nice. I'm curious to get my hands on like an actual pack of cards and and see how they work. It's see the quality of them coming out of like a booster pack versus the quality sure. of them coming out of. Because the quality out of these are super nice. Um, I know my camera's not the best. And I think it's a little inverted. so. But I had to flip it around so that you would actually be able to read the cards. Um, it just looks cool, man. Like, it's a giant cybernetic hound. I'm always so down. I'm the, always ultras, down for that. the Ultras also come with this little explanation on how to play the game without the cards so just like you you're gonna have the character cards but that's not like that important your bakugan save the power on them anyway but and you it tells you how to play it without the action cards the red back cards so that's pretty sweet you just need three bakugan and each player needs six cores i think that's what they're called right all cores yeah I like I like the uh, the checklist on here for these yeah. guys. It only it shows you all the different colors that they can come in. So oh, I guess no, Dragonoid. Not exactly. So I guess Dragonoid is the only one. Well, Dragonoid and Pegatrix. No, Dragonoid. So, so I'm thinking that they come in each color. Like each like Pegatrix. I'm thinking it can come in any color. Uh, it doesn't come in red. It I, doesn't have a checkbox for red. Okay. Oh, that's what you were saying. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so if you look right here, Dragonoid is the only one that has red, blue, white, green, black, yellow, and diamond. So, Dragonoid is the only one that you can get rainbowed. Okay. So, like, see, here is... Yeah, I got uh, one of these little checklist things, too. Here's so, my Hydra story. There's a lot of these to collect. It, with only having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, with only having 19 figures in... Uh, 
Are there yeah, only there's, only 19 figures there's eight the... regular Bakugan and nine Ultra that are different from each other. And I wonder what the difference in... Uh, if you look at the bottom of your page here, see it shows the original five factions right here in red. But then over here okay. on the side, so, there's the two extras. Aurelis, or however you pronounce it, I apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Yeah, someone, think... someone's going to get mad on this video, like one of like the hyper fans. Um, but we we haven't watched the show or anything. We're just kind of we ju we just it. yeah we were we were fans of old and we saw a shot to do a video and here so, we are. So so the uh, the goldish color, it looks like they might be a little bit stronger on the power, but from what I've heard, the the cards part of it, they're not powerful enough in there. Like they don't have like the Pyrus or Aquas cards to power them up. They're just kind of I there. We should plug that in. <laughs> yeah, oh man, it's been such a long break, dude. Like the holiday season has absolutely killed me. I'm gonna have to run it over the table. But yeah, um, apologize for the frame drops, but uh, that makes a lot of sense as to why my uh, stream software was freaking out on me that. I had frame drops, and it's because I'm not wired in. Uh, I'm going through my Wi-Fi card right now, so that'll fix that. No more drop frames. Bad drop frames. Are we good? Good drop frames. All right. Yes. So yeah, I believe that that faction is more powerful on a power level, but they don't have any like ways to buff them or anything in the actual card game so you can't just build a deck full of i was going to say this name wrong again Aurelis. oh how would, you, how would you pronounce this Aurelis. all right so you can't just build a deck with I just that it's... clan you need like other factions so you'd like a pyrus and maybe two of them on the other ones could work and then you just have only Pyrus cards in your deck because that's a restriction on deck building with the cards part is you have to use whatever factions your Bakugan are are the only card types that can be in your deck. Right. But again, it did come with a way to play without the cards. So Which is pretty cool. Um, you so yeah, need, you can just go buy these single packs and just You do need three a, as a minimum. Uh, we're going to do it with two because we didn't know you had to have three. And I mean, we did, we did. Well, we did for. We didn't you know, know there like, was this this other way to play. We knew there was three Baku guns required, forty cards required for a deck, and you needed six Baku cores a piece. But we we didn't realize that we could still play the game without the forty cards. Right. Um, so, so now that we know, it just, we can, it just goes by off like the base power we're of gonna, your Baku gun plus play whatever with, matrix they land. We're gonna on. play with eight of our Baku cores. That's right. And I'm two of our Bakugans instead of 12 Baku cores and three Bakugans. I'm going to finish pulling my dude out of here. It's, he's he packaged these really well, too. Right, I'm almost scared to get him out of here. Come on, little buddy. Yep. It's supposed to be launch day on this stuff, and it's nowhere to be found. Yep, it's, it is Ridiculous. launch day. The, the TCG packs, the booster packs, uh, were supposed to be out today. Uh, it, is, it is January 1st, 2019. Which was the marked release date, but every store we went to, because it's the new year here uh, in America, everyone uh, decided to call out, which is an outstanding American tradition for, I don't know, people who don't like to work, I guess. Um, it would be nice to have this dude. This boy is an absolute unit. Oh, that's cool. Look at this guy. Look at all three of these dudes. What a hoss, man. I am super happy that we've got this guy. Like, I mean, I don't know if you guys are excited as much as I am about three-headed dogs that are robotic in nature, but... No, the I'm important super... question is, how hard is it to close? Because this one's kind of a pain. This one kind of... It's kind of awkward to close. Right. Um... So, like, why don't I have to take the little pincers and flip them around his head? Okay. I gotta okay. close these wings. Gotta roll the leg. Close its butt while I close those wings. Okay. Kind of pop this all around. 
I gotta roll both. I gotta roll the back legs in first. It came with an instruction booklet, right? Who needs that? I mean, I this said is, the same thing. This is difficult now. Okay, so now we're getting to the point to where this gets and hard. Then, then it's a ball again. And now it's not. <laughs> All right, that's, that's not how you're supposed I'm gonna to open go them. to the. I'm gonna go to the instruction booklet on how I'm supposed to open and close. Okay, so I'm supposed to close these wings, little back wings, close this little, this little butt flap. Wait. It's like butt flap pajamas. Was it on the back of the other book? Yeah, here it is. And then we take its little pincers. It is, usually it's butt flap pajamas. And we okay. roll them around and kind of tuck him in here like this. And then we're just pushing forward on him and then he opened up a little bit somehow. All right, so I need to raise the head back. And I, I think he's, he's not quite secure. I did something wrong. Like I said, kind of a pain to close. Now, however, the regular Bakugan, seamless the one that aren't easy. ultras, this is seamless. You just fold his little legs in, pull his little tail back, okay. close Here these things, and then you just flip his head around okay. and shove it in, and he's done. That was super quick and easy. These, they look a bit cooler. The magnets are probably stronger. It looks like his antenna. There it is. Up. That's how he locked. Okay. He oh, locked that time. Oh, sick. You can open up his little antennas. My, my guy actually locked in place that time. So now, now we're good. This gets a little more difficult from here. Um, <laughs> uh, so I have to fold the back legs. So do this. Fold the back legs in first. I bet you kids that get this are going to do this in like half a second with no instructions needed. Oh, dude, flat, man. Like. What a trick, dude. Dude, it's he even looks... It's crazy that they got even... all this to go into sphere form. Like, I will say that this right? one's completely like, round, whereas this one has, like, little... So does little mine. Like, you can see... That's at hard. The sides where I it's wanna, not a complete sphere. Hold it in front of my forehead because my shirt's really? black. I don't know. It's the only white background I have, other than my hands, maybe. Yeah, you can see, you can see yeah, right there. There's, like, a flat part here and here, and the rest of it's mostly round, but it so. does have... Where its hinges are, there's four that stick out a little right. bit. Like I've got a little bit right here where the other two dogs' heads are, so it's yeah a little bit of a little bit of bumpage there. But I mean, I think it's still yeah. You can see like on the roll. I don't know if they could pick that up. So like, maybe I mean it helps it roll a little straighter. Like you, I guess I like that. So you, you want to have it. This thing. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas this one, you can just it just goes. Maybe that's the point of them being an ultra is they're a little harder to roll. I will say that this one seems ultras. to hit the magnets on the cords a little bit easier than the Pegasus does. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, I don't see want to that lose these one. instructions because that was a uh, that was a chore getting that boy. On, uh, okay. I want to see if I can actually hit this one on a uh, on a core. So we'll put the core. Mm, those are here. See if I can just get it onto it. Just I have to need a good lineup and just this might be actually harder. Go this way. This might actually be a little harder to do than So you're only supposed to roll two card lengths away from this is the the rules. So you take two cards and you just do this and you're supposed to be this far apart over here. <laughs> Since the microphone's gonna be like Yeah. Alright, so, so you're supposed just... to be over here to hit the cores, which is a little bit easier. I don't know how the people were rolling them either. I guess just with a finger on top. There you go. And he just popped right open. He snagged that power core. He, dude, he does a headstand. So that's pretty. That's pretty sick. Like he. His popped, magnets on his head. His magnets on his head, but. So I mean, now he's now he's got a little hat. I Let's rolled. I rolled the the mantis one time, and he was standing on his back, 
his pincers up in there, and that was kind of cool. Yeah, and now he's got a little hat. That's kind of neat, though. Got a little three-headed dog out here. Now I gotta fold them back up. And this is where it all gets fun and interesting. Because this is more of a chore than most of the Transformers I remember playing with as a kid. So this head goes back and down. And these guys close in on the side. And the feet go in. Could you imagine have a, having what they say a... Uh, I mean, Could kinda. you imagine what they had like a team of ultras sure and you have to just on YouTube. Yeah. constantly over and over and over again? Like if you miss rolls, just having to pick your ultra up and re-roll stuff. What do you think they taste like? Are they like uh, are they like the Nintendo Switch cartridges where? What well, looks know more appetizing, green you know or white and aqua? Um, just tastes like a toy. I'm not putting mine in my mouth. Okay. I enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna put you. It's just like a gumball there. with little metal pieces that will hurt if you chew it on. I'm gonna put you over there. Don't don't put this in your mouth. It it's, it's no benefit. There is absolutely no benefit to putting this in your mouth. So we're gonna go to the next one that I got that I thought was really cool. Um, it was a diamond. Uh, and it is the Diamond Hydrus. Hydrous. Oh, yeah. We got to watch this show to Hydrous. figure out how to pronounce these names. Yeah, I know, man. Dude, we play Magic the Gathering, though, so we can we can say these names. We can do this. Um, I don't know. It was the only diamond they had sitting around, and it looks super interesting. So, Like I said, these, I these like... were out before they were supposed to be. Right. Well, Unless no, I they think do... these packs. I think these packs were out uh, were they supposed to be out weeks already? ago, yeah. Because this, the SKU data for all of these were, these were already out um, on the market. They've been out in Walmart for two weeks, I believe. I saw them sale. a couple days ago, and I was like, what? Why are they well, we were doing, on? we were doing a last minute Christmas shopping, so it was like the 23rd, I Oh, believe. did we see them before Christmas? Yeah, we were out doing our last minute Christmas shopping, and we happened to stumble across Interesting. these. Interesting. And we didn't think anything of it. And then we were actually on YouTube uh, a couple days ago. And we were just like, holy crap. They're back. So now we have all these cool new Bakugan products coming out. And we're going to go get into this guy. Let's I mean, get this Diamond Boy out here. Holding, holding these things in your hands, they feel so much bigger than what they actually are. What are you talking about? Like you can like take a fist with two of them in your hand. Well, I mean, like when they're undone, obviously. Oh, like, when they're undone, they take up like a majority of the space in your hand. Like you saw, I just had this in my hand with the other one, and this takes up like the whole thing. He's pretty, dude. Like, dude, that the and, like, translucent with that the blue is the standing up. Translucent like that. With the blue is sharp, my dude. So he he picked up the core like this, and was standing up like that. He's ready to go. It's scary. He, he he didn't come to play. He didn't come. So apparently, when it comes to the um the diamonds and the other what was the other faction here? Uh, the diamonds and the uh, Aris. Aris. There's yeah. an L in there. I think the diamonds and the Aris. You don't actually get. Uh, an ability card. So, like when we unbox the Halcor, uh, I have the Halcor Ultra card, the character card, but then behind it was a, an ability card which is class specific. So, obviously, you can only use it if you're a darkest character. Uh, it's action at 100 BP for each flip card in your discard pile. Um, so, obviously, it lets the later the game goes on, uh, this card just becomes a nice alpha strike. Uh, for I guess two resources and I like that they use the uh, I believe it was like um, the new DBZ and was it Weiss Swartz that also uses a similar energy system where you take a card from your hand and play it face down um, as your uh, so I resource. remember uh, Duel Masters and Kaijudo both use this as well I think that that's probably what that system originated off of unfortunately Duel Masters and Kaijudo just didn't have the backing to hang out for I mean, so long. Kaijudo tried. It really did. It really did. It battled for a like, while. Um, I think when I saw I think, some of the same cards from Duel Masters from when I was a kid, and I was like, 
Oh, this is the same stuff. This is cool. And I think Duel Masters failed. is just a living card game now. Didn't they print all of them online? You can just download the PDF and have all the cards you can play. They update the card database like every now and then with just concept ideas they scrap. This sounds cool. I don't know if it's a, like a thing, but it sounds cool. It's one of the card games from our from our childhood. Um, but anyways, so we get we get into the package, which again I'm super in love with because this shows you know the extra step just shows how much they care about their product and their consumer. Yeah, um, that that sleeve does say a lot. It and the fact that it's fastened in like behind, it's actually fastened in behind the disc plate here. So you actually have to peel this up and your cards are seated down in here like this and you can't get to them um, really sturdy the plastic even the plastic for the bag is and thick plastic these little disc things that were in there the tape on the back of them that held them to the plastic is ridiculous like it's, it's not it's not no like legit try to pull it off like that t it even it <laughs> kept it kept most of the paper on. It. Yeah, like so the they, boys are in there. So if you if you buy a product and it's messed up, if you buy one of these and the cards are bent or your baku your bakugan is messed up, someone tried someone tried to damage that because there's that's not happening. I don't agree with. I think it's a bit of a um, price hike for a. I, I will say that I only have one of these little sleeves, and I think that was for the ultra. And that might be why the Pegasus card has a ding in the bottom. So you think that only did them? That your your regular one didn't have a? See, this was video material we needed. Well, this was this was for science. This was for science. But I got two ultras because I'm greedy and I had a gift card and I wanted to get this cool this cool crystal dude. So I now, almost bought a second <laughs> ultra, but I didn't really understand the game's mechanics yet, and I wanted to just yeah, kind of familiarize myself with it a little bit. So I got an ultra and a regular try to do that a little bit this guy looks boss so uh, so apparently it must be a thing because this one is not foil and I was super sad about that because if we noticed in the other pack we opened I think when he got the diamond hydras ultra uh, I think it was shiny I don't know uh, either way it's still cool you've got the regular hydras ultra card that comes in the pack uh, it's your character card. The character cards come with every Bakugan you buy. However, if you buy a Diamond or a Ar Aurelis, I, we're going to get it right. Just bear with me. They're going to uh, come with something different. If you buy a Aurelis card or a Diamond card, it comes with an evolution behind it. So here we have... Well, we don't know if the Aurelis comes with an evolution card. Because we didn't open one of those. It could be something different. It still has the. Oh, so it the still has texture? the rays. It still has the textured, the text on the card. Mm -hmm. So the top one is the high, the ultra, and the bottom one does have a bit of texture. Yeah, it, it is over. raised. It's a raised text. Which is which is nice. Um, that's different. I don't know how. And that's these, the one that goes in your deck. This is the one that goes in your deck, which raises my first question about um, constructed play: is if you're able to feel the raised text well if it's a card a game it's just gonna force you to be sleeved right yes for competitive play? but if you can are you for able casual to play notice who cares it? don't cheat with your friends right if you cheat with your friends you're a scumbag and uh you're going to hell like Sorry. for tournament play they'll just make you sleeve your deck especially if cards come out somewhat damaged but most of these cards are going to be in packs right right absolutely so you would obviously start with your hydra's ultra card uh in your uh your starting zone with your Hydrus Ultra. It does. You don't have to have the actual Hydrus, the regular Hydrus Ultra. You get to use the Hydrus, the Diamond uh, character that comes with the pack. Uh, but so you the, put the Evolution in your deck. Yes, the and Evolution goes in your deck. The character card that came with the Diamond is your character card. Yeah, and it doesn't matter about the piece. It's the, it, it's you know you just you play it as a Hydrus Ultra with the piece. So you put the piece on there. But having the piece, uh, having the diamond piece is just a tell that you may or I guess that you would end up having the, so 
I'm looking here and on the core, you know, they, they always print uh, on the core of the Bakugan yeah. the battle power. Yeah, this one's 600. So, yeah, and this one actually, even though it's the Diamond uh, Hydra's five. Ultra, it still has the base 400 of the Hydra's Ultra. So that's nice. So you could just get the Diamond versions of all of your Bakugan just to, just to flex and be like, yeah, check out this, this Platinum team here and be like, my guy, I guess, like, I don't see a difference. So it looks like Tertonium only comes in the Aurelis or the red. Oh, would it come in the same color it's already in? Like they've got it listed as the sh darkest right here, but it does not list it as darkest over here. That is For weird. For those who can't see what I'm talking about. So I see what you're meaning though. So I'm looking at this little sheet. Oh, the Tertonium? Uh, it's not focusing. Focus camera. Focus camera. No, it's not going to work. It's but anyway, focus. there's this guy here. That's clearly a shadow, or a darkest. Sorry. Um, but it's listed as it only comes in Pyrus or Aurelis. So that's confusing to me. Maybe that's the Aurelis. But those are the goldish brown color. Correct. I would believe so. So that is also confusing because they had the. Uh, they had the Minotaur. Is he on here? Maxitar, yeah, they had him there. They had him in Aurelis form at the store we went to. Which makes me, which makes me want to go and get him now, just to check what's going on with that. Um, I mean, we do still need a, a third one. Maybe it's a special. Uh, event for that but go ahead and dig this guy out now because again like, so there's 19 of these collapse them up a bit for anyone that likes like the sound of crumpling plastic this video is probably just fantastic for them what is this an ASMR video All right Oh, that scared me. The back legs were like, this little piece right here was just kind of floppy. What is going on there? That's how you close it up. I know, but like, it just won't work right now. Use the instructions. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try, but even even this guy, he doesn't feel as a... Uh, What's his difficulty level? He is doesn't feel as big and bricky. So on the packaging? Is it on the packaging? I think it should have been. Hold on. It would be on the ultras. So yeah, on the packaging on the ultras, at the top they have this little number that says two right here for the mantis, and it can be one, two, or three, I believe. Um, it's also on the back. It's probably a little bit easier, but I want to figure out how to do this one. Behind the two ourselves. is like how hard it is to get back into ball form. So I got a medium difficulty, and. Well, Jake's maybe a one, maybe a two. I don't know what mine is. I don't think it's a three. It doesn't look that complicated. Okay. If this is a two, I really don't want to get a three. Okay, honestly, so yeah, mine is uh, mine was fairly simple. So you, you're probably a one. The feet push up in there, the back legs come in, then this little tail comes up, and that little lips hold the back together. This is interesting. You just gotta keep going. So Pegatrix, it looks like does not come in Pyrus, but it comes in the rest of the factions. Okay, so maybe it's the arms first. It's definitely the arms first. Like this. Keep the arms pinched. Bring the feet curled it's in. Like that, you can like head bang. And then bring legs. 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 Just the legs. There we go. I, I couldn't imagine how long a tournament would take with more than a couple people having to reset these Bakugan. I will say that the regular Bakugan, not the Ultras, super easy to close. Super easy. So if you're mechanically not inclined, get the regular ones. 
Like, this is 500, and his was 400. This one's stronger than his, technically, on base power. Doesn't come with the bonus card, but if you're just playing the game where you don't get the cards, you just roll them onto the cores. This is technically a better one than he got. So, now, this is my... This is the ultra now for this one. This one actually closed up super smooth. Like So, we, we still don't know if some of these are going to be harder to find on the shelves. That's... We'll find out soon enough. They actually, they actually hold together. Rather. Yeah. Okay, so if you throw them way high, they'll pop up. But yeah, I threw this one on the table and it broke open, but I threw it in my hand and it stayed fine. You just slapped it. <laughs> God, what a stress test. What a stress test, these bad boys. It's funny that I got a Mantis one because, like, bugs kind of freak me out a little bit. Bugs freak you out. Oh, why did you get a Mantis one? That is he looked kind of cool. Reminds me of the, the Pokemon Scyther. Okay, that, that's a little better reasoning. Behind, uh, oh, he looks cool. Alright, so... This okay, closed up. I found out a big, big, big issue. Okay, I have to push his head down. Just a little bit to lock the arms into place. So I gotta tip his head down just a tad. But like not lock it. Just kudos to the design team. Yeah, like this ten out of ten. Uh, that kind of exploded on the throw up instead of the catch. It was weird. But yeah, this Okay, I got the trick. I've got the trick to it now, so this should be this should be okay with uh, the rollings. So this one's got double defense. So I'm assuming you can get other tiles. So you don't have to use the tiles that came with them. You just have to make sure you're using two tiles of that type. So like I have to have two shield tiles. But if I open another Bakugan that has other shield tiles with it... And the Pegasus says I have to have two fist tiles. Yeah, but see, you have... And you I can, have a fist tile and a spring. I don't really... DNA. DNA, yeah. So you could use... You know, So I could whichever. use your DNA instead of my DNA. Right. And, see, uh, look, and mine says my minus 100 four. plus 4 on the fist. So it all depends on, yeah, how you would want to set up says, your field. Your, uh, the, minus, the DNA mm, one. Yours says what now? M minus 100B plus 4 on the fist. See, so minus 100B minus 3. Okay. So we could technically interchange those, assuming. But Right. I mean, there's no way to tell. They don't have it. I don't know. Um, it's probably in the rules for the game. The rules, I think, are in the app. I downloaded the app earlier, but instead of like reading the rules, I just started playing the game. 48 HEBB, 31 SD. So, opening the app right now. That is so bright, so you're not going to see anything off this. They do have some form of number at the bottom. Uh, if, you, if you look at the bottom of the, uh, the hexes, there is some form of Get some nice of this little game music in here. <laughs> um, so if I go to the how to button, how to play and how to transform are two of the tabs. Oh, that actually shows up. Huh, interesting. Um, so they've got the. So I guess that's just for the type of piece it is. Oh, the world premiere. It looks like they have the mantis guy that I bought on one of the videos. Oh, ain't that neat though? So, yeah, click the app. I'm going to watch all these videos in a little bit as soon as we get done with this. So you'd have to, I guess, part of the going through and... And maybe we'll get a couple more of these things, do a little unboxing, play a game maybe on stream. I think it'd be fun. I, yeah. I'm kind of, I kind of feel a little invested in this. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get a couple more Bakugans, play a game with them, figure out more information about said game. And, yeah. Sounds, Should be pretty sweet. Definitely does sound... Uh, so tomorrow we might have better luck in finding the product. Like I said, today was the launch date, but it's also New Year's and everybody got real drunk, apparently, and called out of work. Not where we work, but 
at Walmart, Target, everywhere. They were all short staffed and nobody unloaded their trucks. I don't know how you just don't work. I mean, it's really easy. You get fired. Which I don't know how all those people still have their jobs. But it's fine. We got some stuff and they're cool. So, so we can uh we'll get some more stuff. Hopefully we'll get the cards and play the full game instead of just doing this war with a little bit of a buff. That's basically what it is. It's it's <laughs> a war with It's a buff. Marvel's War with some buff tokens. Or or debuffs. I mean I have Yeah, I got I have one or two debuffs and I have, I have two pluses and two debuffs. So two of mine. Oh, this is actually cool. This works out for me. Um, one of my tokens gives uh, the Aquas or Darkest types 400 BP. Like specifically Aquas and Darkest. And yours has. Or is that? Oh, it's actually okay. Yeah, it's on here. Um, and yours, you have one that says. And it says Pyrus or um, Chaos. Is it Chaos? Chaos. Pyrus or Chaos get plus three on the little fist. On the damage. Oh, so you get plus three to victory phase, which is where you actually take out points from your oh, that's life on those. Yeah. Well, that's neato. Definitely something to... Uh, so that means I'm more inclined to want to purchase a Pyrus Bakugan next if I get special bonuses with Chaos and Pyrus. And I'm wondering if like it's gonna be better to use the uh, like a one faction kind of a deck, two factions or three. Like who knows? Um, if there if different types is better or if one type is better, I I have no idea. There are definitely a lot of mechanics uh, that I've just seen from looking at some footage of gameplay where a lot of uh, there's some deck building mechanics that I think are neat where you could just because you you can use cards for uh, your ability cards. Um, I believe if I read it all correctly you can only use the type for what it is. So this is a darkest action card. You can only use it on a darkest creature or a darkest Bakugan. So I wouldn't be able to use Umbral Slash on my Hydrus Ultra in combat. So there's that to think about. I mean, maybe if is, you just want one of them for... Is that correct? You can only use Umbral Slash on, on your Howl core? Um, that or or any of uh, the uh, darkest typing. I think the darkest typing. The game on the app isn't like the cards at all. It's just you have a ball, you roll it onto a thing, you basically war fight with your opponents. You have the higher damage with the tokens applied. It's 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 the basically the analog version that we've got, and then so. It's it moves very quick. I, um, I think I ranked up to, to level five or something. Um, it's in, not against any physical opponents. I don't know if there will be player to player action in it, but that would be sweet. Because like if he got the if he downloaded the app, we could play I'm each other. On I was it. playing it earlier. And then there you go. All right. Well, we are going to get out of here and play with our toys a little bit more without bothering anybody else so have a good night absolutely thanks for clicking on the video yeah. thanks for uh, watching us do this horrible explanation of a game that we used to play when we were kids um and if this sticks around we will go grab some more and play some games which sounds fun that's he wears it on his head too that's where his magnet's at so he keeps it up like a little hat sweet no attack all right, guys. Thanks for watching.